The NCAA tourney is right around the corner, and here to talk about the fan excitement is Tiger TV alum and the host of the 30-minute drill, Chris Gordy. Chris? Well, thank you, Brian. Uh, yeah, as you mentioned, Coach Trent Johnson and his team are ready to start March Madness, and the LSU campus is just buzzing with excitement. So, to show you what some fans are thinking, I decided to hit the streets to get some fan perspectives on the team. Here's what one excited fan had to say. Yeah, I mean, just the job that Coach Johnson's has done in his first year since coming over from Stanford. I mean, it's really spectacular. It's amazing what he's done with just one year. I mean, LSU, they got a lot of the same guys back. It's, it's incredible. Can't wait to see what they do in the tournament. Okay. Um, that guy kind of looked a bit like you. What? Yeah. I mean, I guess maybe he did a little, maybe a relative or something. Anyway, well, let's take a look at what one international student had to say about the team. Um, yes, well, uh, what coach has done since he's been here, Coach Trent Johnson, uh, in just one year, spectacular. Um, the Tigers, they're on a winning roll. I know they've dropped the last two, but uh, certainly phenomenal what he's done with, with such little experience and, and the players that they have, just phenomenal. All right, now, I may have been wrong about the first guy, but the second guy really kind of looked like you. What? Yeah. No way, dude. That, that guy was British, okay? You're probably just seeing things. Uh, let's take a look at another one. Here's what a country pirate guy had to say. Well, yes, I'm certainly impressed with what the LSU basketball team has done. I can't wait to see him in the tournament. Coach Johnson, <laughs> All right, Chris, now explain something to me. All of those people look like you. All these people you interviewed, supposedly fans, they all look like you. You didn't even interview any real people. Now, now hold on, Brian. I resent that. I'm a journalism graduate, and I have a little bit more integrity than that. Really? To set up fake interviews, okay? Really? Yes. Now, let me show you one more, and then you can decide if these interviews are real or not. All right, well, let's take a look. I, I'm excited. Excited is an understatement. I don't really even like basketball. I like cricket myself, but it's a brand new thing to me. I love it. Trent Johnson's got the guys playing great. They're in a tournament this year, too? Now, I'm not using a fan of green wigs, but that one was kind of hot. I'm going to have to give him points on that one. With the road, I kind of... So you believe me? I kind of I kind of like that. Yeah, I do believe you. Good job. You're a good reporter. Thank you, we'll Brian. We'll have to get some more of your interviews on the show later on in the season. That was Tiger TV alum Chris Gordy getting the common fan perspective on LSU basketball. It's time for our first commercial break, but when we come back, results from a whole bunch of LSU games over the weekend, including the gymnastics team closing out their home schedule in the Etta James Memorial Meet. Stay tuned to see what Tiger achieved the perfect score. This is Sports Showtime on Tiger TV. Welcome back into Sports Showtime. While the LSU baseball team and basketball team struggled this weekend, the LSU gymnastics team flourished. That's right, Brian. This team used a big win to propel themselves to number six in the national rankings. On Saturday evening, the Tigers handled the North Carolina State Wolfpack 197-15 to 195-725. Over 6,000 fans were in attendance at the second annual Etta James Memorial Meet. The Tigers' Susan Jackson took the all-around title and was named SEC Gymnast of the Week. In her last home meet, the Tigers' Ashley Claire Kearney scored a perfect 10 in the vault. Sports Showtime's Alex White tells us why this meet was special to one former LSU football player. For only the second time, the LSU gymnastics team put on the annual Etta James Memorial Meet this past Saturday in hopes of raising money for Foundation 56 a charity founded by former LSU and current Dallas Cowboy linebacker Brady James. However, the meet was not just important for its charitable purpose, it was also senior night for seniors Ashley Claire Kearney and Lauren Klein. James, who lost his mother to breast cancer back in 2002, founded Foundation 56 five years later to honor her memory and began a relationship with LSU Gymnastics in early 2008. Well, we, they reached out, D.D. Bro, Coach D.D. Bro reached out to me and my foundation and said I wanted to do something real unique and so the gymnastics meet was definitely the uh, thing to do. The memorial meet, like last year's inaugural event, was a huge success. Foundation 56 was able to raise over $51,000, a $20,000 increase from last season. Besides the success for Foundation 56, the Tigers also experienced success on the mats, scoring a 197.15, their second highest total of the year. ACK capped off her home Tiger career with a huge perfect 10 for the Tigers on ball. Junior Summer Hubbard and the rest of the Tigers also competed in outstanding fashion having fun while definitely showing their passion for the event the entire night. I love it. I love it. It too. brings in a bigger crowd, uh, you know, it's just more energy and like I've said before, my grandmother passed away from cancer so I'm all for any 
you know, cancer awareness, cancer promotion. So it's just extremely fun to have the, the crowd, the large crowd is amazing. Last but not least, the event's festivities were capped off by Performance Act Quick Change, which wowed LSU audiences for the second time this athletic season after making a visit to a men's basketball game earlier in the year. For Sports Showtime, I'm Alex White. The Lady Tigers will head to North Louisiana this weekend to end the regular season with a matchup against Centenary. Outside of the gymnastics team's triumphs, it was not a good overall weekend for LSU sports. Starting out, the LSU Lady Tiger basketball team led by three points at the half and then extended their lead to as much as five points in the second period. But that was the last time LSU would find itself ahead. The team fell short in its bid to win the SEC tournament Saturday as they fell to Vanderbilt 61-47 in the semifinals. The Lady Tigers tied the score at 40 apiece late in the second half, but Bandy would outscore them 21-7 in the game. Junior guard Allison Hightower could not extend her streak of double-figure scoring games to 16 as she dished in a mere six points. LSU was led in scoring by freshman forwards Lysandra Barrett and Courtney Jones, who each had 10. You can catch the Lady Tigers in action in the opening round of the NCAA tournament, most likely to be held at the PMAC. Selection Sunday for the women's bracket will be next Monday. The men's tennis team began SEC play this weekend, hosting Alabama and Auburn at home. On Sunday, the Tigers didn't fare well against the Crimson Tide. They went down a point early after losing two of three doubles matches. Singles wasn't much better for the Tigers either. Senior Michael Venus was handled easily and it was all downhill from there. Alabama dominated the courts coming out on top 5-2 to two in the end. But that wasn't the only loss for the Tigers of the weekend, despite an impressive win from Michael Venus. LSU also fell to Auburn on Friday 4-3. to three. After the match, coach Jeff Brown talked about how the team can improve. Well, I mean, I just think you know we got to we got to get the leaders of this team to to focus on uh, you know helping the younger guys come through and, and getting themselves through. But but at the very least, we need to make sure that we're, we're using every opportunity to improve you know for now and, and for the future. Lady Tigers also had a rough road trip this weekend, taking on both Alabama and Auburn. It started with a five to two loss Friday against the Auburn Lady Tigers. LSU's Hannah Robinson recorded the only win in singles play. Senior Megan Falcon and her doubles partner, partner McCalla Hedberg, kept up their consistent play winning their doubles match. However, the tennis didn't get any better for the Lady Tigers Sunday, though when they fell to Alabama by a score of 4-3. Megan Falcon and McCalla Hedberg were the only Tigers to record single wins for, the, for LSU. The team looks to bounce back in SEC play against Vanderbilt Friday at 3 in the dub. Over in the new Tiger Park, the LSU softball team lost game two of their doubleheader Saturday. But the team came back Sunday to clinch the opening SEC series win against Kentucky. Juliana Santos led the Tigers with a grand slam in the first to get the early lead over the Wildcats. After five innings of play, the Tigers crushed the Wildcats in a 10-2 run rule victory. Cody Trahan took the win during her fifth consecutive start from the mound. The team faces Baylor in a midweek clash tomorrow night at 6. Intramural basketball isn't quite over yet, and it's playoff time at U High. Let's take a look at the action. Starting off with... Lemonhead's taking it in for the layup there, and coming at the other end of the court, they're going to go for another layup. But 2-1-4 looks a fight back. He falls down almost as he get, makes the jumper, and then his teammate goes in for another layup. But it wouldn't be enough as they would fall 51-39. to In our second game of the night, Los Pandieros versus Sigma Nu. Los Pandieros starts out the pro hop in the lane for the jumper of the two points. Sigma Nu came back and knocked down the three-point jumper to make the game 15-5. to Los Pandieros comes back, knocks down another layup, uses them some more teamwork to get the offensive rebound in the basket to go up 39 at half. That was all they would need as they were going to win the game 59-28. to The other two games last night included Sigma Nu A defeating Acacia A 53-47. The smooth operator's postseason run finally came to the end as they lost to Savage 59-55. It's time for yet another commercial break, but when we come back, I'll be joining the forum by two of Sports Showtime's reporters to break down all the big stories in LSU sports. Don't change that channel. You're watching Sports Showtime on Target TV.